Pokemon Story Cyber Sleuth AOA playthrough. So last episode, we did quest for her to beat up some hacker who was mistreating his Digimon. And then after that, we took him. And after doing that, we took up this case called the Mysterious Digital Base. Basically, we're after some guy who threatened to steal the cops' data in front of the cops' face. And now we're helping an old detective solve this case, but he doesn't know it. Okay, I want to check something before we go out. Check something today. Ooh, possible digital potions. Oh, he's level 16. Wait, what's your max level? Uh, max level is 15, so I can't even get to 12 that form anyway, so. Let's get this out of the way. Not simple. This one. This one looks unique. And we have some Floramon! Good, it's a data type. What can you come on digital to? Uh, fine. Alright, let's go see this cutscene because it's going to be a little bit accident. There we go, we got a Wormon. Geomon, can he digital? Not yet, not yet. What's his max level anyway? 22, okay good, so he can be able to digital. You, what about you? 26. And we want the bottom one, so... Oh, you're very close, my friend. You're very, very close. Anyway, let's get on with this. I forget. Um. And I'm broke. Story of my life. So we're heading to the Shinjuku to try to track down the mysterious face. Looks like we go right into Shinjuku. Huh? You've met Matoshi while asking around in Cologne? Hmm, I see. You told them about the information on Shinjuku. If Detective Matoshi solves the case by himself with that information, that'd be great. I'm sure to be... Just to be sure, please continue your, with your investigation in Shinjuku. come to mind. I'm afraid. Really now, do hackers and police seem friendly to each other? Of course, there are those who get along well, and I do wish they I had their luck. <laughs> Alright, uh, I have a bad feeling about that guy. Maybe he might be the one, but then again, you're the Dane. A hacker who hates cops? Who hates cops? I saw this guy. He didn't look like a hacker. But he really hated cops. He was whispering something hateful about cops by the access point in the station courtyard. But I really don't think he hates the police. I mean, come on! Where's the call? Something else. Something else definitely gonna happen. <laughs> I'm concerned now! What are you gonna do to me? Um, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna clobber someone with a baseball hat? Are you gonna... Are you going to arrest someone? Are you going to arrest this guy right here? Please do. Please arrest him. Uh, 
by the access point. Ah, there he is. Stop. What is it? You got something you want to ask? What the? Who the hell are you? You think you're so important, you're asking around! You're a cop! You're a cop, right? You're hiding behind the power the state gives you. Tyranny! Cruelty! This is a violation of my human rights! What? <laughs> Where did you go? Looks like he run has the... Looks like he's run from the axe point Eden. Oh, come on, he's a jerk. Oh, he's made of sunflower. Oh, it's so adorable. Look at it. I get... <laughs> this game. I hate the police. I hate them. I hate them. Questioning. Bicycle registration. Bicycle registration number. I don't have time for that. I need to get home. My favorite anime is about to start. My favorite anime show is about to start. Uh, the thing some people do for anime. I really... Am I really that suspicious looking? Am I really that shady? The police. The police are my Bruh. enemy. The police are my Bruh. enemy. The little lap. So you're their little, so you're their little lap dog. Okay then, there's one out there. That's nasty. Is your virus type? Portion palm. Sunshine beam. Boom! Chaka taka! That's the beam of death! Ninja blade! Cause I'm a ninja. And you know, I'm doing ninja things. Let's rock your world. Really, nigga? Alright, I win there. Level 12. Level 7. Level 12. Level 12. Level 8. Oh! I level up quickly. Oh. Oh. What? Where am I? Huh? Possessed by a Digimon? I see. I can't remember. Hmm. Mysterious diddle, digital face. He stole the secret police data? What are you talking about? First off, I'm not a hacker. I admit I hate the police. But, oh boy, but, what's your problem with them? I was born with a strange suspicion. Subconscious spot, suspicious a vibe. <laughs> to everyone who mistreats me, who mistrust me and who treats me like their enemy. Anyway, I don't know anything about the mysterious digital face. Did you catch the criminal? Okay. Just bring the criminal straight to the station. Don't let the detective the you see. Huh? He wasn't the criminal? Just shady? I see. That's a pity. There's nothing to be done. We need to we need to do the investigation again. Please come back here.
there was... I'll just summarize this up for you for a bit. Basically, Matoshi came in, policeman who we talked to downtown. Turns out that guy was mysterious digital face all along. He was just a normal guy in the police costume. <sighs> Matoshi said that um, anyone who did this wasn't someone who hated the cops, someone who actually was really fascinated was a fanatic was a fanatic with the cops. And um, I had to cut off for reason A, there was a song in there and you know, copyright problems. I don't want to deal with those. Anyway, so now we're back at the office. Right, so the mysterious database was safely was safely brought to justice. You managed to have preserved the honor of the police and forced the police force and the just they had up a Detective Majoshi. Good job. I suppose we should reconsider our low opinion of Detective Majoshi from now on. We tried to support him covertly at first, but we weren't able to find the criminal by ourselves. He is an elite detective. That gut instinct of his, that's one of the greatest gifts you can have. Still, Senjuku Metage. Metage means bear hunter. A person who can use the footprints and smell of the bear to track it down and move it for the kill. Of course, that's the perfect name for Detective Joshi. Alright, you finished that. The mysterious digital face. And. Boom! Shakalaka! Another one done! You became a you became a starter service. Okay. I think the multi-faced criminal was sort of a fan of the police, the P and the PIs. He's probably the first ever to first ever to hot cold personality first ever hot cold personality type. Wow. then. Alright guys, so I decided to come out here and talk to this girl. She said she had something important and I wanted to see what it is. Burr. The back entrance is so c cold. It's a little better here at least. Back entrance, you say? Let's go in the back door. Something important here to say. Whoa. It's freezing in here. Did the AC break or something? Oh. Ah, uh, Dairy Girl. Bruh. Uh. Okay then. Huh? Her voice was cut out. I wonder what's up. Me again, we've got a new case for you. Why don't you drop by so we can talk? Okay, we'll do. And this new case is... Time capsule, snow woman. Ooh, farm expansion plug. From what I gather, the air conditioning inside Nakanto Broadway is on the fritz. It keeps plummeting cold air constantly, and nobody can switch the heating on. The thing is, nobody can find anything wrong with it. It's just, and the businesses are lost about what to do. And that's where we come in. People aren't getting much work done, so I told them to leave it to us. If we can get to the bottom of this mess, I'm sure they'll love us for it. It's her again! Huh? Is she getting a transmission from someone? Hmm. Well, isn't she cute? The white nose is not... The white nose in this is really bad. I can't make out what she's saying. Oh, the white noise. Where it's coming. Where's the coming? Damn it! It cut 
one out. What? You're saying the transmission came in where it was pulled? We might be closing in on the case. If so, our next step could need to resolve the thing. The result is like planning and simple. I'm going to see if we can figure out the signal's origin. You ask around about the air conditioning. Go up here. All right, let's see. No one down there. No one here. No one here. I doubt it'd be her. No one here. No one here wanting anything. Nothing. Third floor might be better. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Alright then, fourth floor. Nope. nope. Check here. Found one! You wanna know how the AC broke? Beats me, I have no idea. It's odd. We don't have a central unit anymore. So how could a so how could everyone's AC go out? Huh? You didn't know about the central unit? Back when the place first up, there was a big underground unit that controlled the AC for the whole building. Sure, it feels like the old central unit's going out. The way it worked was that every store circulated the cold air up to their stores with fans. Why was there a central unit underground at all? Well, that was to refrigerate something... <laughs> What do you think it was? Um, a snowman? It was a Japanese old. It was a Japanese. J it was Japan's oldest vacuum compu tube computer. <laughs> what? Can you believe it? The room the computer was housed was right under here, Nanako. Sad to say, I have no idea what happened to it. There's nothing left of it anymore. And even if there was, there's no records. Nobody remembered where it is, where it was either. The room itself might as well be an urban legend. Hmm, an urban legend, you say? I can tell you one thing. It's really cold, although it does wonders for the coffee sales today. I figured out where the signal came from, so get back. So get back to the office when you can. All right. Back in the office. Nice work with your investigation. Now what do we have to report? Now what do you got to report? Uh, sorry, my throat's scratchy. Scratchy. Hmm. This is the first I've heard of that computer room. But what? But with that info, it's all starting to come click back to me now. For me now. Like I mentioned for before, I figured out who the girl was in the transmissions. Her name is Fuyumi Fuki. She's a she was a breakout idol a few decades back. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold the phone there. Decades? Man, that girl must use some good makeup. What we've been seeing, what we've been seeing, the avatar on screen was her when she was at in her prime as an idol. 
Somebody therefore is using the computer and using using the terminal inside Nanocal Broadway, broadcasting her likeness. And the signal seems to be coming from the fourth floor. Looking at the map, it's right inside the wall at the K Cafe. The whole thing played out like a horror story, hasn't it? Lon Idol replay replaying her last message from inside a wall. But for your report, it's all coming together now. We've uncovered a place of Nanako Broad Broadway's history. Not even the K Cafe owner hat as the go-to historian could claim to know. But enough talk, let's head to the K Cafe. I'll be coming along for this one too.